We've been ripping all of the drywall and insulation out of our bathroom. A couple of weeks ago, we woke up to water standing in our home. After several hours of pumping water out of the house and soaking it up, we discovered that it was coming from underneath this wall right here. And that was very unusual because this is kind of in the center of the house. As we would soak up the water, more would come pouring out. The next couple of days, my husband was trying to find where the water was coming from, and he discovered that underneath the existing bathtub that we had, there was this big gaping hole. This hole is about two foot deep, about two and a half feet wide, probably five foot longer. Nine years ago, right before we bought this home, they remodeled both bathrooms. Apparently, the plumber and the contractor instead of sealing this old sunken bathtub or old shower they just covered it with plywood and left it and then built a new bathtub on top of it over here in this corner that pipe is where the water was coming through over the last nine years we've never seen any water damage or any water in the house because we never had 11 to 16 inches of rain before but that amount of rain caused this bathtub to fill up with water and that's why the water was coming out through the walls, or underneath the walls, and soaking our floors. Over the last nine years, apparently water has been filling up in that bathtub, but never enough to overflow into the house, but it was getting all of the bottom plates wet and moldy. You can see mold all along all of the walls, all up the dry wood. We've taken out the dry wood on this side of the wall, but the dry wood on, leading into the other rooms is going to have to be replaced also. Over here is where the sink was at. Underneath a board there, it was all molded and wet. The walls are still wet, and the rain was about two to three weeks ago. Over here in this area, they had built a big cabinet above it. This is where the old piping was that they had put in, and the toilet was over there. All of these bottom plates have to be replaced. The studs are some of them are molded and rotten. This wall down here is still wet. It leads to a smaller bedroom. Over there on the back side of the house, all of the bottom plates are moldy and rot and have to be replaced. All the insulation, all the drywall, it's all been damaged beyond repair. This is the back bathroom. Before it, there's a small room here. All this flooring had to be ripped out. We had just put all new wood laminate flooring in the house this summer. It had to be ripped out. The back wall over here, we're not certain because we haven't ripped it out yet, but we're assuming that the bottom plates are rotten there also from the rain because the water has come through here. Into this room. All of this floor has had to be ripped out about halfway over. Behind these shelves is the bathroom wall that we were just looking at that has the mold on it, so these shelves are going to have to be taken out. The drywall replaced, flooring put back down. Into the hallway, we had to rip out all of the flooring in here also. It was just put down this summer. This wall right here is leads into the front bathroom. This is the front bathroom. Over here, where you can see the bottom plate is rotten and the drywall is crumbling. There's mold up the wall. We're not sure exactly what they did in here, um, but they remodeled this bathroom the same time they remodeled the other one. As you can tell, the, there's cement down here, but we're not sure what's underneath it. We're not sure how far the cement goes down. We're not sure if there was another tub there. Underneath this shower, it's built up the same way that the bathtub in the back bathroom was built up. So we're not, we're assuming that there's some kind of an old bathtub underneath that also. This wall here leads into the pantry and the kitchen. It's got water damage under it, we're sure, and it goes into the other side, into the kitchen. 
We didn't rip the flooring out in the living room here. We're not sure if it's okay or if it needs to be replaced. We did have to rip it all out in the kitchen and take all the flooring up from here. Over here, this wall is the one that is connected to the front bathroom that we just looked at. The pantry was here. We had to take all the cabinets out of there. We're not sure what's going to be behind this wall, but the floor has mold on it and has been damaged. The drywall is peeling. You can see in that corner there and over here and in here. Back there, there's mold. And this cabinet right here, the drywall is all crumbling down on the bottom. There's mold everywhere. That's the back of the house. Um, we're assuming that from where the water was coming in and filling up in that tub that the whole back side of the house has damaged the bottom plates and the studs and the drywall. This wall here is an interior wall. It's right by that cabinet that I just showed you. You can see the mold all down on the bottom there and how the bottom plate is rotten. Back, that's an interior wall back here. Um, you can see the insulation and the rotten bottom plate. You can see the mold, the cabinet on this side over here. You can see where it's been wet and it's molding on the bottom and rotting. That's the kitchen cabinets. This hole here is where the stove goes. I'm sitting on part of what was the piece of plywood that they had covering this hole here. We haven't discovered all of the damage yet because we haven't torn out all the walls in the rest of the house. I'm sure as we tear down more walls and keep going that we'll find more problems and more things that need to be fixed and replaced. We could really use some help here. If there's anything y'all can do, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for your consideration.